And hello everyone, how you doing? It's time for another garden update. I actually thought I wouldn't be here today uh, because of uh, the Bottled Smoke concert series up in LA, which I am still going to, uh, but end up not going today. We'll be at uh, the shows over the weekend. So that meant time for some gardening out here with the crew. And so, as you can see, the roses are keeping on pretty much. Uh, this one here got some uh, good recent trimming, so nothing much to do with that except for wait for the new ones to come along. As you can see, you got plenty of new growth and so there'll be some new flowers here soon. Society Garlic continues. This rose bush is just sort of ticking along here, but more Society Garlic and a couple of very lovely red blossoms right here. Absolutely gorgeous, it must be said. Can't knock those. More Society Garlic. A little slightly more of the ragged or pink ones here, but still doing along very nicely. Again, more of the garlic. And then, on the big one, some very nice blossoms here. So there's keeping on. And so, otherwise, just sort of continuing as these rose bushes will. Bless their hearts for quite a while to come. And then, over here, let's walk along. So, a lot of the artichokes have already been uh, cut off and shared with some of the other gardeners. There are simply too many artichokes for us to deal with, and there will be more on the way. Uh, but uh, it's wonderful bartering for all sorts of other stuff from the garden, so we're good with that. As you can see, the big one over here is starting to be on sort of the dying side, so we'll have to do some more heavy-duty trimming with that. But it produced quite a few, so no question of it. But it almost got too unwieldy, so probably the trimming just helps sort of accelerate that, but we're not complaining. But uh, in any event, quite a few ones over here. Young and old still to come. I'm coming around here if they're still on there. Moving along. We still have plenty of ladybirds doing their thing. Right there. There's another one moving right there. And there are other ones around too, so long may they thrive. They counteract all the ants that are curling over a lot of the leaves, but what can you do? Down here, the radishes. Coming in very well, just basically just to keep watering and they keep going, along with the one remaining carrot that's sort of holding over from last time. Down here the tomatoes are starting to come in. You can see that uh, we do have some fruit, and over on that one too. And we also have uh, the basil down here and some of that, and a little bit of marigold sort of tucked away over there along with some other ones. Um, some of these tomatoes and basil are doing fine, uh, fine enough over here, but as you can see, other ones are doing extremely well, so it's sort of, we're still trying to figure out why. We think part of it might be a mix of the soil, might be a bit different. Over here, the potatoes that were planted some time ago, still going along. Malabar spinach, starting to come up bits and pieces down here, along with some of the other flowers and things. And down here, some more of the tomato plants continuing along some of the basil. So you can see we've got some fruits on that one too. The squash have been doing very well. They're now starting to flower as you can see. In some cases we already do have, well I should move that around here, do have some fruit coming in. Some more to the side there. And the cabbage over here still doing nicely. One of the cabbage plants has been removed but uh, the other one uh, as you can see here still coming along. Some more of the success stories. The chard has suddenly re-exploded. Just uh, huge amounts of it, so here we go again. Uh, we're not complaining, but uh, it's quite, quite a lot of it. So we have that right there. And then we have this tomato plant's been doing very well indeed. As you can see, started set up with another little trellis hold up there, so that way you sort of keep it going. So not quite, uh, no, I take it back. I do see some small fruit on there, and it looks like it'll thrive and keep going for some time to come, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Over here is even more of a tomato success story. Quite remarkable. This one's doing very well, very thickly coming out. You can see down in there some of the uh, flowers, sort of in the center of the shot there. Also more of the basil right there with that. So that seems to be doing well. It should be coming out very nicely. Over here, sort of turn it around a bit, step over. So we finally have evidence of some of the shisho, which is the Japanese herb that was planted here. I'll sort of try and give you a better view of that right there. That's the sort of best one so far. Um, there are some other ones, a uh, little one tucked down there, and some smaller ones over here. That's sort of the prize, so we'll see where that goes. And over here, the Molokaya is starting to come in some more. It might take a while for it to really sort of kick in, but nonetheless, it is starting to go. The edamame, however, is the success story, as you can see right here. 
still under its uh, protected cages, really starting to come along well. So uh, no question this will be sort of the hit of this one. And then finally the atomic red carrots, doing very well over here. Let's sort of see it along. And we'll see how it goes from there. And that's kind of it for the basic tour. So, be here next week doing some more cleaning up and sort of seeing where things go. And then after that, I will be out of here for almost the, most of the rest of the month, so it won't be until early July after next week that I'll be back at the garden and give a report on it. Hopefully things will have thrived even more. We'll see where things go. And we will take it from there. So I'll see you all next week. Hope you have a good weekend and good Memorial Day.